well, I guess we could all say expect the unexpected from Chavez. However, this was expected. You could fool me one time, shame on you. You could fool me twice, shame on me. Now, Chavez got the Ortiz treatment today for Quentin, not once, but for the second time in his career. I mean, I really don't understand Chavez. First of all, he shut the door in front of Vada face and walked away and Eddie Hearn let that slide by moving the venue and all the fans followed him all the way to a different state and ended up throwing bottles at him. How ironic. And yesterday, we can't forget the fact that Chavez missed weight by five pounds and ended up paying a million dollar fine. And with all them advantages, going into the ring as a cruiserweight, the fact that he did not get tested by Vada. So ain't no telling what supplements he was on. And still he chooses to quit in the ring. So let's get straight to it. How y'all doing ladies and gentlemen? Peace and blessings upon all my Achis and all my sisters out there. Welcome to Achi TV. If you want to get smarter by the minute, subscribe below. If you're trying to get dumber by the second, don't and listen to old media or these casual fans. Now, if you want to be part of the family, if you want to be an Achi, Migo, slash whatever you want to call it in Filipino, then click on the notification bell to get notified every time we post or go live on Split Decision. Now, Chavez, when the fight first started, obviously he was doing well. He actually, to my surprise, won the first round. He was a big super middleweight. I mean, he hopped in the ring as a cruiserweight against Jacob. So he obviously tried to use his size as much as he could have. However, Jacob was boxing well from round two up. I feel like Jacob was trying to fill out Chavez a little bit since he was a cruiserweight. However, he was landing great punches, like great uppercuts in the inside and boxing beautifully, even though he was getting caught at spots and out of nowhere they had a small exchange where Chavez ended up getting cut I don't know if it was from an elbow or a headbutt or whatever it was and then Chavez claimed that he broke his hand and quit which is embarrassing to quit right in front of your dad who's a legendary fighter in the game obviously we could speak of Chavez senior legend all day the fact that he lifted up Mexico boxing and you quit in front of your family, your pops, and all your fans that travel to see you. And out of his own mouth, Chavez Jr. stated, this is his last opportunity. And what you choose to do with the opportunity, embarrass yourself, and more importantly, let your family down. And you gotta keep in mind that this was the opportunity for Chavez to put some more respect on his name. However, he did exactly the opposite. He's lost more respect. So I feel like Chavez is done because the fact that he chose to come overweight. He chose not to get Vada tested. And then goes into the ring as a cruiserweight and chooses to quit. I mean, you really can't make this up. So I feel like Chavez is done, at least when it comes to any big fights. And then Jacob, on the other hand, congratulations to him. Brooklyn, stand up. You already know, huh? So we in the building and Jacob called out my man Charlo and also a rematch with Gennady Golovkin. And he stated if those fights aren't available, then he wants to mix it up with the top 168 pounders. So I'm all for it. I feel like Jacob will be better off at 168 because 160, he was almost killing himself making that weight. So we really couldn't gauge Jacob and how well he gonna do at 168. However, I don't see that harming him because he was struggling to make 160 in my opinion. Now the Charlo fight is actually a mega fight. However, we know Charlo fights for Showtime. Meanwhile, Gennady Golovkin fights for the zone, but I don't see Gennady Golovkin fighting Jacob at this point. I mean, he's too busy cherry picking. So most likely, Daniel Jacob is going to fight a champion at 168. Me personally, I want to see him fight Charlo. Hopefully that fight get made. They got the same manager. However, they do fight on two different networks. However, Charlo stated he's willing to go to the zone to make a Jacob fight happen. And we all know they got beef in history. So let's see. However, I didn't like the disrespect 
and the fact that the fans was throwing bottles to Jacob during his post-fight interview. You got to keep in mind, that's Chavez. He did the dirt. He pulled off an Ortiz move. So as soon as he walked out of the building, there's only one real champion in the building, and that's a Jacob. So y'all got to pay homage and respect to a man that beat cancer and became a champion. So that was disappointment to see. However, we all know that's going to go viral. In the meantime, Chavez, man, just hang him up. I mean, no disrespect, but if you keep quitting like this, even your fans ain't going to support you after that. So, like I said, um, we're going to talk about this during split decisions. So stay tuned and we're going to talk about it. And subscribe below if you're trying to get smart about a minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't and listen to these casual fans. Follow my man Lunatune for the funniest boxing memes. I will leave his IG link in the description box below. So keep it a G and follow my man. Shout out to all my amigos, all my achis, and all my brothers from different mothers. Like I said, if you want to be part of the achi family, then click on the notification bell to get notified every time we post to go live on Split Decision every Sunday live. So call in, join us. And to be continue on the next episode of Achi TV. Peace and we are.